A class Mammalia is divided into three subclasses, Prototheria, Metatheria and Eutheria. Prototheria also monotremata. It is represented by two egg-laying mammals. Mind the words egg-laying mammals, that is the duckbill platypus and echidna. They are oviparous. They lay eggs though they have mammary glands. And of course here the mammary glands do not have teeth. But a fluid drips and soaks their skin and it is this fluid that can be sucked by the young ones. Which are the ways in which you would find these two members, these two animals do not resemble other mammals. They have a cloaca. Their body temperature is not steady. It's not fixed. It keeps wearing, which means they are poikilothermic, averaging a temperature of about 25 degrees Celsius. The ureters do not open separately. The testes are found in the abdomen. The episternum is T-shaped. Another interesting feature among the members of prototherians are they are limited in their distribution, found mostly in Australia and Tasmania. Well, have a look at the pictures of both these members of prototheria. We move on to metatheria. These animals have a bag, a pouch, which is called as marsupium. Can you correlate and think of an animal which carries its young one inside a pouch? Yes, you are right. It's the kangaroo. Another representative member of this subclass is opossum. Now, let's, you know, put together some facts we have observed while seeing a kangaroo in any of our favorite channels of television. You have seen a kangaroo moves very fast. That means its hind limbs are very powerful. Its tail is also huge and sturdy. It's something like a portable stool. Now inside that bag, the young one is pretty immature. And there are teeth for the mammary gland. And the young one sucks milk from these teeth. And it matures inside this bag. And you would find that these are also localized and found in the region of Australia. But here we find there is no cloacal aperture. The bones in the skull are joined by sutures. And the corpus callosum also here is very rudimentary and the episternum is not found. We move on to a next higher subclass that is eutheria. They are placentals which means the young one is developing inside the womb of the mother. It's called the fetus. And it is connected to the mother with the help of a wedge-shaped placenta which establishes a contact, a medium for transport of nutrition, of oxygen, of chemicals and of removal of excretory waste. In fact, it establishes a psychological and an emotional bond between the mother and the developing young one. And here we would find that the embryonic layers are also very clear and distinct. A characteristic feature of this subclass is the development of the cerebrum. The mental capacity is advancing. The corpus callosum is becoming distinct. The testes have descended into the scrotal bags below the abdomen. There are many more features of the class mammalia which can be seen in the members of the subclass eutheria. It has 16 orders and into this are included the huge animals even like an elephant. You have the zebra, you have the deers, you have rats and what not. It's an immense diversity. Flip through any pages of a book on the animal kingdom. You would be just enlightened with lots more of information about mammals. Mm -hmm.